management edit the main aims in the treatment of diabetic ketoacidosis are replacing the lost fluids and electrolytes while suppressing the high blood sugars and ketone production with insulin. Admission to an intensive care unit or similar high dependency area or ward for close observation may be necessary. Dot 6 Fluid Replacement Edit The amount of fluid replaced depends on the estimated degree of dehydration. If dehydration is so severe as to cause shock severely decreased blood pressure with insufficient blood supply to the body's organs or a depressed level of consciousness, rapid infusion of saline 1 liter for adults. 10 milliliters slash kilograms in repeated doses for children is recommended to restore circulating volume. 115 slow rehydration. Based on calculated water and sodium shortage may be possible if the dehydration is moderate. And again saline is the recommended fluid. 1415 very mild ketoacidosis with no associated vomiting and mild dehydration may be treated with oral rehydration and subcutaneous rather than intravenous insulin under observation for signs of deterioration. 15. A special but unusual consideration is cardiogenic shock, where the blood pressure is decreased not due to dehydration but due to inability of the heart to pump blood through the blood vessels. This situation requires ICU admission, monitoring of the central venous pressure which requires the insertion of a central venous catheter in a large upper body vein and the administration of medication that increases the heart pumping action and blood pressure. One insulin edit some guidelines recommend a bolus initial large dose of insulin of 0.1 unit of insulin per kilogram of body weight. This can be administered immediately after the potassium level is known to be higher than 3.3 mL slash liters. If the level is any lower, administering insulin could lead to a dangerously low potassium level C below.16 other guidelines recommend delaying the initiation of insulin until fluids have been administered.15 it is possible to use rapid acting insulin analogs injections under the skin for mild or moderate cases. 16 in general, insulin is given at 0.1 unit flash kilograms per hour to reduce the blood sugars and suppress ketone production. Guidelines differ as to which dose to use when blood sugar levels start falling. Some recommend reducing the dose of insulin once glucose falls below 16.6 mL slash liter 300 mg slash EL1 but other recommend infusing glucose in addition to saline to allow for ongoing infusion of higher doses of insulin. 6 14 15 potassium edit potassium levels can fluctuate severely during the treatment of DKA because insulin decreases potassium levels in the blood by redistributing it into cells via increased sodium potassium pump activity. A large part of the shifted extracellular potassium would have been lost in urine because of osmotic diuresis. Hypokalemia low blood potassium concentration often follows treatment. This increases the risk of dangerous irregularities in the heart rate. Therefore, continuous observation of the heart rate is recommended 15 as well as repeated measurement of the potassium levels and addition of potassium to the intravenous fluids once levels fall below 5.3 mL slash liters. If potassium levels fall below 3.3 mL slash liters, insulin administration may need to be interrupted to allow correction of the hypokalemia.